Okay, today I'm going to be making an underwater Skittles waterfall. So I got this idea based on a trick I've seen recently where you put some Skittles on a plate and then you pour a little bit of water on the plate and if the plate is tilted just the right amount, then the Skittles will dissolve into the water and the sugar water will flow down the plate into the middle of the plate and you can kind of see a Skittles rainbow around it. It looks pretty cool. Okay, so here's my Skittles rainbow piece that I'm going to be placing on top of these containers here. Each line of Skittles will flow down and it'll kind of look like a waterfall. So this is my attempt at a 3D Skittles waterfall. So I really don't know if this will work. I'm kind of doubting it will work and hoping it will. Let's see what happens. Okay, 3D Skittles waterfall. Three, two, one. There we go, it's working. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Much cooler than on a plate. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. So just like on the plate, what's happening here, you can see how fast it's flowing. That's because the Sugar water is much denser than the normal water around it, and so it's denser, so it's heavier, and so the gravity just takes it down much faster. It creates this current flowing. And in the bottom just becomes this mesh of colors. <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> wow. See what's cool is the colors are going to start coming up the sides and that's because of how it's flowing. So it's pulling water down the center and then it's coming up the sides and that's the path that the water's taking. So you see it start going up on the sides. Hey look the S just fell off. <laughs> there goes the S. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I wasn't sure if this would work, but it looks like it worked great. That's awesome. You can even see this perfect level of sugar water here. I have to show this after about 10 minutes now, 10 or 15 minutes. Look how high it, this level has gotten, this sugar water level. It's really cool to see. Hey, thanks for watching another episode. If you like this video and you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe. And you can leave me a comment with what you'd like to see. In the future, if you'd like to see me put anything in my vacuum chamber, my hydraulic press, or anything else fun or scientific you'd like to see me do, I'll see you next time.